Today, Malak is going to show you how to use a voltmeter. She is currently a fourth year biology major from the class of 2016. We have a couple of different models, but today we will be using the orange X-Tech multimeter. First, get your equipment from the appropriate cabinet labeled according to your lab assignment. To start off, the voltmeter consists of three major components, a dial, a positive terminal, and a negative terminal. Easy enough to remember, right? Typically, the red lead is plugged into the positive terminal and the black lead is plugged into the negative terminal. Plug in the negative lead in the terminal that says COM and the positive one in the terminal that has an amperage unit next to it. The dial shows the different measurements you can take. These include current or amperage, shown here by a capital A, resistance, shown by an omega symbol representing ohms, and voltage, shown by a capital V for volts. Voltage and current can be measured with alternating or direct current. The alternating current symbol is the wavy line above the amp symbol or voltage symbol on the right side. Direct current is identified by a straight line on the left side. We almost never use alternating current in lab, so make sure you know the difference between the alternating current and direct current settings. The numbers on the dial indicate how large or small of measurements you are taking. It is a good idea to calculate a theoretical value for your measurements before getting experimental values so you won't have to guess which skill to use. Now that you know all of the components of a voltmeter, let's take some readings. Since we will be using hazardous chemicals in this experiment, Malak will wear safety goggles and gloves. Make sure you take safety precautions anytime you use dangerous chemicals. Here we have tin and lead. The lead is our cathode and the tin is our anode. Electrons will flow from the anode to the cathode. First, turn on the voltmeter by turning the dial to the scale and unit you want to measure. Here, we are going to use the two volt settings with direct current. Place your positive lead on the anode and your negative lead on your cathode. If your voltmeter is giving you a negative value, Switch the positions of your positive and negative leads. Also, if your setting is too high, you will get a reading of zero. If it still reads zero, you might want to try a smaller scale reading on the dial. When you are done with your reading, be sure to put away all equipment neatly in their proper locations. In conclusion, before taking a reading, make sure your leads are set up correctly, you are on the correct setting, and that the numbers on your readings are the correct magnitude for what you are measuring. Now go and have fun measuring!